Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today is another day for solving another algorithmic problem under the warm-up section of Hacker Rank. Today what we are going to do is we are going to solve another basic simple problem which is known as compare the triplets. So here you know the problem statement says that Alice and Bob uh, have each created one problem for the Hacker Rank and if you see the ratings of Alice challenge is given in one of the array like A0, A1, A2 and then there is another array which has challenge of for Bob's like B0, B1, B2. So now what we have to do is that we have to compare these two arrays, uh, arrays elements by index by index like for example if AI is greater than BI then Alice is awarded one point. If AI is less than BI then Bob is awarded one point and if the score is equal neither receives a point. Simple problem let's go down and see if you see guys uh, let's go over the input so input is array first array is 5, 6, 7 3, 6, 7. So at least let's say Alice, Alice is 5, it is greater than 3, so Alice receives 1 point. Equal to 6, equal to 6, no point. And 7 is less than 10, so Bob receives the point. So the simple output will be 1 and 1. Simple problem, let's get straight to coding. So what we are going to do is that we will store array, uh, store the results in an integer array with two, only two index like one score is for Alice and another is for Bob. So here I am going to define an integer array. CT results new integer 2. I am going to initialize the array first element as 0 then I'm going to initialize another element then and now let's put one assumption if for our solving this problem the assumption is that both player have played the same number of matches like Alice and Bob you know both the, both have the same number of uh, matches which means that A and B array are of same size so let's explicitly mention the assumption matches or challenges so guys, you know why I am talking about mentioning your assumption. See, whenever you are in an interview or uh, solving a pro problem, uh, it's good that you write your assumption and it helps that int interview that you have understanding of the near and edge cases. You are thinking about the problem holistically and you just not looking for a happy path solution. So what I am going to do is I have defined the assumption. Let's code that assumption. As I mentioned, if we are saying that both arrays do not have the same size, we are just going to exit. We write not same score as a mesh message and exit from the program. Okay, so now what we are going to do is write, first of all what we are going to do is simple iterate over one of the array and compare the results and populate the result array. So this is our basic algorithm. So here what I am going to do is I am going to define an array, oh, sorry a number and compare with the size. Then what we are going to do is that close the loop and now here comes the coding. If a dot get i greater than b dot get i, so it's our first first condition. So what I'm going to do is that if a dot get i is like the first element of array a is greater than the first element of the array b. So I'm going to increase 
the score by 1. Now similarly what we are going to do is we are going to reverse the condition. Let's copy paste here. Right and less than and here we are going to do a 1. And we don't have to do anything if both the elements or the scores are the same. Now simple, we have written a for loop, for loop is com complete and we can see that we are making an n comparison here, number of elements are compared with another, uh, n number of elements in the array b in a for loop and just return the results as a list. as list that's it let's try to run our code so see our sample test case has passed let's submit the code yes all the test cases have passed so guys you see a simple problem we have solved this problem uh, look I'm looking forward for your comments or uh, so just comment on the YouTube video and like share uh, the video as much as uh, you want <laughs> and probably you know I'll be sharing uh, you know more videos solving this hacker rank problems one by one and uh, each week I'll try to bring a new video so guys subscribe to my channel and if you want a specific problem uh, to be solved of hacker rank just let me know I'll solve that problem I will be also bringing videos about the system design and other concepts which will be very helpful for you in your preparation for in either you are uh, looking for a job or you are uh, looking or participating in a competitive programming channel so you know this website I like hacker rank website a lot you know it gives uh, a lot of problems easily and conceptual wise you can solve one by one each of them and there is a section for new beginners known as 30 days of code each day they give you one problem to solve and those are very basic problems to learn java or any programming language of your choice so do check that out as well then bye for now thank you bye